Oh, the alcoholics. The alcoholics. All of you say, eh, eh. Eh, eh. Get it? <laughs> but I'm actually going to open the tripod and actually use it today. What was the point of buying you? I'm not actually going to use you. So someone made a comment on my recent video about, um, you know, I work with a lot of Chinese hair companies um, and obviously I haven't been working with them as much as usual, but obviously with what's going on in China, I wanted to film a video about it, but I just felt like, I don't know, I just felt like people would come for me, you know? <laughs> like those sort of videos take a lot of research and I felt like if I left anything out or if I wasn't too accurate on one of the points I made maybe a video was a bit older I don't know I just felt like people would come people come for you when you start getting political um but like if you want to know my thoughts on the China and how Africans have been treated I think it's absolutely abysmal I think it's disgusting you know and like I feel like the African leaders in the government for different countries need to step up, especially Nigerians, because there's a lot of Nigerians actually in China. We need to step up and say, not our citizens, are you having a laugh? I saw one about um, a pregnant African woman being refused entry into a hospital, and I'm like, how sway? You're the ones that have contaminated the whole world with this disease, and now you're trying to like pass the blame onto other people like it's just like classic denial and we're not gonna have it mate we're not gonna have it but um, the comment yesterday was like i shouldn't work with african companies um because of what's going on um they didn't put any pressure on me the person that commented to be fair they're just like something you need to think about but i just feel like you know we we live in cancel culture we're so quick to cancel but um sometimes you just have to really think about the impact yeah like money hurts like if we stop working with chinese companies stop buying from china you know they will feel it but let's be realistic china are the biggest exporters in the world 80 percent of my room was made in china and what made me just think of it is this when i just when i just opened my tripod and i saw the big fat made in china that was what, what i was thinking yesterday you know what's the point of canceling my hair work unless i'm going to burn all my furniture and burn all my decorations and burn a lot of my clothes like we've got to keep the same energy you know i can't just stop the bag um and yet be like yeah don't worry i'm still gonna buy all your products and i'm still gonna live in the bed that you made me and the tables and everything like i'm just wondering are we actually ready to boycott china and get rid of all our chinese possessions and stop buying all the things we love to buy on amazon which to be honest all come from china you know so i think if we're being honest we're not ready for that <laughs> we are not ready for our creature comforts to go um but what we what we have to do is just like be very vocal about the fact that we're not gonna ha have it and we need our leaders to stand up and have our backs and be like absolutely not not our african citizens absolutely bloody not and the way you treat us there is the same way we're going to treat you in our country because there is a lot of china in africa a lot of china in nigeria a lot of china you know a lot of african countries and you know we're going to keep the same energy so yeah that's my thoughts on that i i wait not like i have any work with chinese companies but i won't be boycotting um the brands that i work with until i'm willing to boycott all the other products that i buy from china and i enjoy on a daily basis you know let's keep that same energy but that being said let me open my chinese tripod yeah yeah i'm okay Come in. No, it's alright, it's alright. What do you want? Nothing. I was just going to tell you something, but finish me with your time. Oh, let me ask you something. Because you did a video. My sister did a video about China and Africa. Um, So you guys can go check it out. No, I haven't posted it at all. Well, it will, it, it will probably if be... If I say Africa, they'll curse me. If I say Nigeria, they'll curse me. See, like, that's... Let me avoid the controversy, y'all. Honestly, guys, that's literally actually, what yeah. I just said. Like, that's why I didn't film the topic. Because you can't win. I think you should. Now I'm learning to comfort you people. Normally, when they put those comments, you'll be hurt, not upset. Do you I'm want me to put you inside. in? The other one. Okay. You know, because I just literally done that video and oh my god, look at my hair. Wait. <laughs> no, that's why I asked you. Do you want me to put you in the video? <laughs> and she said yes. <laughs> oh.
I'm gonna get my coffee. I'm gonna tell people who've been looking for trouble, yeah? On Instagram and all this YouTube, people have feelings, yeah? Come and say it here, they can't hear you. They can't can hear you. Someone attack me. No, don't put my face, but you can. Yeah, how can someone attack me because I said Nigerian food star? So, why did you wear hats if I can't put your face? Yeah, what was the point? Like, you know, it's awful. No. Okay. Why, put it on yourself. Why okay. did someone attack me over saying Nigerian food star? The guy was Nigerian. What am I supposed to say? Some of you are angry in life and angry with quarantine. I get it. I feel the exact same way. I want to be out the house. But please, don't come for me on YouTube or because me, I will come back mm. for you too. My you sister, that was a losing battle. <laughs> 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 what the hell does she... You know, you've been on there a month and you say don't come for no, me. No, because people are usually you, nice to me because I'm a uh, nice person. You better learn. And this man actually <laughs> said... We are our own worst enemy. If anyone knows me, if you know how attached to my roots I am here yeah, and how I I actually go out of my way to to embrace my roots, I felt that coming, you know. I so my... a bit of background for you guys. My sister filmed a video that she posted yesterday about being scammed out of over two grand by a Nigerian fraudster. And one person is like, Why would you put that you were scammed by a Nigerian? We're our own worst that enemies. If it was American or Chinese, would I put it? Basically? Excuse me? If whoever it was, I will put you on blast. What kind of nonsense is that? Is, is it my fault that the person is Nigerian? We are our own worst enemies. Why are we scamming our own people? And funny, funny, Why are we scamming anyone? I just feel like if this started in Africa, I just feel like people will not, <laughs> they will not be as chilled as it is. I feel like there is still a little bit of fear of China and the fact that we need them. Like my sister said, mm -hmm. they are massive exporters. Most yeah. countries import from them. They are one, I think they are the second largest exporter of goods in the world. Now I could be wrong. They can't be the second. They're definitely the first. Are they the first? How okay. can they? Ah, okay, who, so who exports like China? So Man. there you go. So they're one of the, they're the largest exporters, if not one of them in the world. So they are the largest. I think that, Don't worry. I think that whatever happens even if they did purposely put this virus here i don't think they will be punished the way that they should, should be, be yeah because of their um the position and the power how their global they are strength in the global in the global economy yeah. um, global economy and the global and most of, of our governments owe them billions but if it was africa billions. Hmm, they will bring all the vaccinations to africa and give it to all they're of them. they're already doing that i saw that not yesterday that they're, they're doing it, it in kenya the, i'm so they'll give it to not just the babies now <laughs> don't take no vaccine yeah stay strong my people <laughs> anyway so yeah this is my tripod that i've been waiting to open ain't she pretty ain't she pretty so it's just a little handheld one when i'm walking the street it's actually quite a bit heavier than my last one but um yeah i wonder if that will fit my handbag it's a bit bigger than i thought as well but it'll be quite good to just lay on the table and you can like adjust the angle of this head to tilt your camera down but anyway I'm glad that I finally opened that up, but yeah, time to go, time to go. Guys. Ah. I really haven't been feeling like myself, you know. Um, wow. I have just been tired. Feeling lethargic. Didn't, ooh, didn't really want to do much. Out here trying to get myself a wine glass. These are more like gin tumblers. Almost seven, and I'm just like, first time leaving my house today, you know, almost seven. I just went to the store, I got some. I've actually become addicted to popcorn and sweets in this lockdown. It's like, if I don't eat popcorn every day, feel like I'm failing at life, I don't understand, and Haribo's. When was the last time I did Zumba? When was the last time I exercised? Don't ask me these questions, I don't know the answer. Oh, and the wine, I just need, I just feel like you're going to cheer me up. This wine, oh, thank you. I'm going to have fun tonight. I've got a video date with one of my really good friends. So I'm just gonna pour some wine and have a bit of girl talk with her. But first of all, I literally haven't eaten since breakfast, so I nicked one of my sister's eggs earlier. So I'm just replacing it. Hopefully she didn't notice. But yes, time for, oh, my sister made jollof rice. 
like time for a glass of wine and I think I'll have some rice and chicken and save my popcorn for my dessert I'm gonna put you guys here mm. Oh, we are definitely having a large. Oh, get this bottle chilled. Mm. Oh, the alcoholics, the alcoholics, all of you say, eh, hey, hey. hey, hey. get it. <laughs> Sauvignon Blanc. Mm. Mm. Yes, it needs to chill though. But let me make myself a plate. Look at my camera, don't look at my camera. <laughs> oh god guys, how are you guys doing? I feel like it's week five of lockdown. I'm ready to just give up. I'm ready to just give up. How are you guys doing? I just want them to let me go. Let me be free. What did I do to deserve this punishment? Ah! I'm tired. I'm so tired. So guys, I've just been like chilling with my sister for the last two hours. Just talking about life. Trying to plan for when lockdown ends. Not that you can really plan. Because don't nobody really know. Also, I'm quite so drunk now. Such is life. The girl has drunk the whole bottle of Slaving Out Black. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know how I'm going to carry everything. I've got my laptop under my arm. Maybe just carry this on my head. I could do back home in Africa, maybe between my legs. Carry that on. Carry that on between the legs, and then we carry the wine. We can't walk, but we can dawdle. Just about to turn the light off. Mm. Uh -huh. We are dawdling. We are making our way. We are making our way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We made it work. We made it work. Oh, there we go, Wayne. Laptop, everything. Just tired of life, to be honest. <laughs> Just tired. <laughs> 